What's going on, guys? It's your girl Tasha, the boss chick. And I'm going to show you today how to calculate pips. Calculate pips when trading Forex, all right? So anytime you're trading a basic pair, any pair that's not cryptocurrency, that's not gold and oil, as well as uh, JPY. So any regular pair like USD, up, USD, CAT, EUR, USD, NZD, uh, GBP. So those basic pairs, US dollar, Canadian, Euro dollar, NZD, Great British Pound, and so forth. So let's say you enter the market on a buy. We know that when you enter the market on a buy, you pretty much want the market to go up. So let's act like we're taking a trade on USD CAD and we enter in on a buy, we want the market to go up. So we enter the market at 10.1492, okay? This is where we entered, entry. Now, if we want the market to go up 10 pips, we wanna catch 10 pips, and take profit, catch 10 pips for TP. Everybody knows that TP means take profit. So we want the market to go up, so we're gonna add 10. But where do I add my 10 to? Guys, if this is not a JPY pair, and of course it's not crypto, we add the 10 to the third and fourth number after the decimal. So we're gonna put 10 here. And that will be our TP, our targeted TP. So bring down my two, nine and one is 10. Carry my one, that's five, one. This is my new take profit. This is what I was set as my take profit. If I enter here and I'm only trying to catch 10 pips, right? Let's say now I wanna catch 20 pips or 25 pips, okay? Catch 25 pips. If I entered at 1.142, I'm going to go to the third or fourth number. One, two, three, four, third or fourth number. I'm going to add 25 pips because I want the market to go at 25 pips. Now I'm going to set my take profit at seven. Carry my one. This is my new take profit. Okay? So that's my new take profit if I was trying to catch 20 pips. So any currency pair, if it's not a JPY, and it's a regular, just foreign currency pair, not gold, not oil, it's exempt, okay? It's different when you're calculating pips on, pips on those pairs. Now, let's go ahead and see what the difference is. So if you wanted to trade USD, JPY. JPY pairs, you add or subtract, depending on if you're in a buy or a sell, to the first and second number after the decimal, okay? Excuse my chicken scratch, but you get it. So if we enter the market at 0 0.821, okay? This is where we entered entry, right? Entered at 0 0.821 on a USD JPY pair. And we want to catch 15 pips. You are not going to go add to the third or fourth number. You're going to add to the first and second number. So 15 will be added there if we're on a buy. So if we're in a buy, we're going to add 15. Bring down our one. Two and five is seven, nine, zero. That's our TP. Okay. So when it's a JPY pair, 
JPY pairs, you add or subtract to the first and second pair, first and second number after the decimal. So let's say we want to catch 15 pips, but we're in a cell. Okay. In a cell, you want the market to drop. Okay. Excuse my chicken scratch. It is what it is. This is my quick lesson for today. Okay. In a cell, you want the market to drop. So we want the market to go down. If we enter that 0 0.821 and we want to catch 15 pips going down, you subtract to get your TP. Okay. So we're going to subtract from the first and second number after the decimal. Okay. So just bring down your one. Two cannot take away five. So we got to borrow, make that a seven. So now we got 12, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. That's 7 minus 1, that's 6, 0. This is our TP. We will set our TP in our phone so we can set it and forget it to hit our take profit at 0 0.61, okay? That's how you calculate pips. And it goes the same way for when you're setting your stop loss, okay? So if you're setting your stop loss, that means, hey, if I'm in a sale and the market goes up, I want you to stop me out so many pips. So if you're in a sale to get your TP, you're going to subtract because you want the market to go down to a lower number. If you're in a sale to set your stop loss, you do the opposite to get your stop loss. In a sale, you add to get your stop loss, to get stop loss, okay? So if your stop loss is 1.2361 at your entry, I'm sorry, this is your entry, and you want to set your stop loss, you're going to have to add, because that means that the market go up, it's doing the opposite of what you told it. And if you want the market to stop you out in 20 pips, you go to the first and second number, you put 20 there, and we're adding, right? Three and nothing is three. That's four. This will be your stop loss. 1.4361. Because we didn't want the market to go up. This is a higher number. We want it to stop us out. We're going to give ourselves enough cushion because, you know, the market goes up and down. But since we're in a sale, we want the market to get the number to get lower, not higher. So that means if it's going higher, stop me out at 20 pips. I don't want it to go over this number. I can afford to lose however many 20 pips worth of whatever it is that I'm in on that trade, okay? So if you was in on a trade for 10 cents, you would only lose $2, okay? If it rise 20 pips and you're in a sale, all right? Hope that helps for now. I'll do more later. God bless. Oh, don't forget my website, bosschickstrade.com. Go follow if you're not a member. You should be trading. Making money off of your money. Make your money work for you guys. That's the new rules of money. We're not exchanging time for money anymore. We're making our money work for us. And if you're on YouTube, my name is Natasha Wilson. And guess what? They call me the boss chick. All right? Rewatch it. If you miss something, you'll catch it the second, third time around. God bless.